Doma Sports Talk Worldwide with some news from the world of boxing so y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Now, Tio is back, right? Tio Fima Lopez looks great in his win against Josh Taylor. Now, Josh Taylor was undisputed, real undisputed champion at 140 pounds with the wins in the WBWS tournament, uh, even against Regis Prograis, the ones who we think is the most, uh, you know, the most dangerous guy in the 140 pound division. Uh, Teofimo Lopez looked good in this fight and in, in everything. Now, I wasn't rolling with Teofimo Lopez. I didn't want him to win, right? Because of all the antics of Teofimo Lopez of late, the last two years. And, I, and, you know, I used to roll with the takeover. But he, you know, pissed me off on several occasions or disappointed me. And it got to the point to where I wasn't even wanting him to win the fight. I kind of wanted him to just, you know, get out of here so we can get, you know, people that ain't nuts. But this guy showed why I used to like to watch him. You know, all the things that his attributes in the ring, you know, even his antics, his defense, what we underestimate, his, you know, his uh, upper body movement, how he's ev evasive, his footwork, right? You know, the different p the punches that he has, his repertoire of punches, you know, his punching power. Uh, you know, he, he showed a lot of attributes to get rid of a Josh Taylor, not get rid of him, but to beat a Josh Taylor who was more active, I thought. After round four, I said the punch stats were even. Or I think even Lopez had more. And I was like, Josh Taylor was outworking the guy early. He was outworking the guy early. I just think Teofimo Lopez came on with time, showed his hand speed, and was giving Josh Taylor some trouble. And Josh Taylor is a great fighter uh, with a whole lot of will. I think he hurt Josh Taylor to the body several times, right? He, you know, he hit him up top too. Now, Josh Taylor was landing some left hands too, uh, the, the whole fight. And Teo was taking them babies. So, you know, Tio really showed a good fight. And, uh, you know, props to Sandar Martin. Y'all know I'm just going to bring that in there. Right? Sandar Martin looked better against Tio Fuebo Lopez than Josh Taylor did. Right? Now, Sandar Martin's in obscurity in Spain somewhere pissed off. Ain't nobody talking about him. Right? So, I just want to props to him. Because, you know, it would be nice if Tio, you know, you, you get a fight. Re rematch Sandar Martin right now. But here's the deal. Uh, Tio Fuebo Lopez looked good in the fight. He's back, you know, uh, he's back. Basically, he's 145, 140-pound champion uh, now, and he beat the lineal champion. I don't know. I think Josh Taylor is someone who should get a rematch because of who he was and what when you were undisputed like that. And, you know, you should just be able to get a rematch. Nobody should just be able to beat you and then you move on. But no matter what happens, that's a good uh, win for Teofimo Lopez because, you know, that just substantiates what he's done. He's beat Lomachenko, and he's beat Josh Taylor. And those are both great fighters at 135 and 140 pounds. So now he's at 140 pounds. He's there. Now, is it going to be good for boxing in the division? No. It's going to be a whole lot of shit and shenanigans. Teofimo Lopez got a lot of Tyson Fury in him. That's not going to be good for boxing. We're going to hear a lot of stuff. One thing you're going to hear that's really bad is the um, I'm two division undisputed. That's what you're going to hear. Right? He going to just say that, right? And that was good, I thought, at the beginning of the fight is when they were announcing the fighters. They were announcing him as just lineal, right? And they announced him as uh, the just the, the belts that he had in the 135-pound uh, division. And then when they announced Josh Taylor, they announced him as an undisputed 140-pound division champ. That was cool. But when you watch the writing, they, were, they wrote undisputed for Teofimo Lopez. They keep trying to mislead people. He was not undisputed yet. Right, he's not undisputed now, and he wasn't at 135 pounds. Now, it would be nice if he goes for undisputed, but to do that, you're gonna have to get past Regis Prograves, right? So let's see how that happens going forward. Um, it's not good news for me, because I don't think Tio Lopez is, got, you know, mentally going the kind of guy that I would like to be on top, kind of calling shots, because he's just gonna, he's kind of delusional, like just the 20 million he's asking just to fight Devin Haney and stuff like that, but. Uh, as far as his performance, that's good for him. It really is good for him to get back to the point where, you know, it's the takeover. He ain't taking nothing over. But at the end of the day, to call yourself to take over, to get your swagger back, and to put in great performances. This is a great performance. Like it or loathe it, right? You know, because I ain't liking it. But it's a great performance, right? I didn't like Michael Jordan. But it was great performances is a great performance. You know what I mean? You got to give it up for Teofimo Lopez versus Josh Taylor. And what he's going to do going forward is another issue, right? For me, 
I'm a justice guy, Sandor Martin, you know, just to bring him back in the mix would be nice, but that's just not going to happen, right? But, um, I, you know, you, you're still happy for Teofimo Lopez because after the Lomachenko fight, you know, people, you know, think that could be a fluke because he hasn't been looking good of late. But now you have to just say, damn it, T.O. is back, like it or not. Doma Sports Talk Worldwide. And I'm about to hear y'all.